bother breaking it all down, you know? Save yourself some work. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's just a general, like, fighting game thing, right? Like, training room, hitting the lab, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, that's super sick. You know how else is sick? Leon, best Bowser in the world. Um, really out here in the tri-state area. Uh, I believe rank two or three in New Jersey. I don't know the exact power ranks of Jersey. Yeah, Tri-State's power rankings have been kind of a wild ride recently. Right, because there's Jersey and then there's Tri-State. I don't know if Tri-State does a power ranking. But nonetheless, Leon, a you know a national, a world-level threat on the Bowser. And looks like we are going to get the heavy showdown. D3 Will versus yeah. Leon. I mean, is, is DK Will? D3 Will? D3 Will, yeah. And local guy, by the way. Um, very, very, very good. We have two strong DDs who have taken up the mantle um, after um, everything. So it's like Symphony and D3 Will. And D3 Will has been grinding an absolute fiend, lots of top eights at Zandu. And this is a matchup that a lot of DDs are comfortable in. I feel like this is very, very doable. I'm excited to see how this pans out because Leon, one of the things that he does that every other Bowser does is that he just kills you. Like <laughs> a lot of other Bowser players are trying to outplay you. Leon is trying to kill you, just like right there. So, I mean, when you are able to do that, especially with DDD, not giving him a chance to build up rage and get his game plan going, things get dire really quick. And, okay, charging up the hammer, the <laughs> Oh my goodness. I told you he was nice with it. He was nice. <laughs> that was such a tech, like, Leon did the textbook response, and D3 will. I've never seen anyone so ready for the textbook response. Yeah. Oh my goodness, the double hit on the Gordo. Because when you, so the scary, the reason why Leon jumps there is because when you charge the down B, you can actually, it hits below the ledge. Yes. So usually you'll see a Gordo set up into that, but D3 will didn't have enough time. Starts to charge, shows the charge is coming, starts waddling up, and was like, the right thing to do here is jump. And I catch players for jumping all the time. It's one of the things that only works against good players. Like, yeah. Since you're playing a player of international caliber, it's like you can afford to go for those level two mix-ups right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. And just trust trust your opponent to be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should know what to do here. <laughs> yeah, you get punished for being right. But hey, great stuff from D3 Will, and we got ourselves an even game. Good job using the inhale, big opportunity. He's not going to jump again. That breaks shields too, by the way. Yeah, he actually really said the just near the just frame. So, um, Leon. Able to get out of dodge right then. What was that jab hitbox? All right. It's crazy that D3 Will actually knew that that jab wasn't going to fully connect, and that was it was like weird. So he just stopped after jab one. So you can just tell uh, huge expertise on the character. I mean Leon as well. I, we we've seen the pocket like banjo come out for uh, for Leon, the the pocket Bowser Jr. But for the most part, I, I would say you know Leon a Bowser specialist, right? Absolutely. Really uh, puts this character on his shoulders and. Pushes the character for the world to see how well this character can do at that top level. But I feel like in this kind of matchup, I think DD can do really well as well. Nice, using the F-Till, all those active frames attack through the neutral get-ups, reset situation. He's not going to get hit by that, but big opportunity for Leon. I mean, there's going to be a lot of damage to the Nair, and you can juggle DD for days. All right, just able to get right back to the ledge and angle the shield up, but using the up smash to cover all that space, you can't afford to jump away. And when your shield's getting low, you're going to be liable to jump. D3 will always on top of a lot of these situations. Yeah, and I think that's just more of an ultimate thing, right? Like most players, they will, uh, unless you have like a like a guaranteed punish, if someone hits your shield right, right there, right? The forward air hit and Leon didn't have a guaranteed punish. What did Leon do? Full hop out of shield and reposition, right? That is like the, the ultimate cycle kind of deal. So really good stuff. You gotta have things that break that cycle right there for D3 Will. It's the Nair into up smash. Like or if you're gonna go into the autopilot jump, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch you slipping. Yep. Okay, but here comes the up the out shield though. Gotta keep pressure airtight. This is a scary situation. D3 Will. Okay, nice get up attack right there. And Leon is going for the jugular. Gets that back oh. air and tags the bad DI. DD dies so much earlier off the sides and off the top because like. Right. It, a lot of times people jump to kind of cancel their momentum right there, but DD, you can't do that. He's so big, he extends the blast zone if you jump out of his stun there. So you have right. to just hard DI and pray, and that time DI was not enough to save D3 Will, especially when you got mixed and tagged with the back air that quickly. That's hard because the only reason why the bad DI came was be the action before, right? When you think about what D3 Will was doing, D3 Will was rolling to the right. Mm -hmm. When you're rolling to the right, you're holding right. <laughs> so that is why the bad DI came through. DD is also the second fastest faller in the game, and fast fallers actually die off the sides earlier. So D3 is actually, I believe, the hardest character to kill off the top, or Correct. one of the hardest yeah. characters to kill off the top because he's so heavy and he's the fastest faller in the game. So those two things like stacking with each other kind of deal. 
yep, yep. Yeah, I played DD. This game, Smash 4, Brawl, this character has been stuck with me for a decade, so. Yeah, Brawl for, DD is goaded. Yeah, that character's so fun, dude. Oh, good times, good times. This ED, I mean, yeah. definitely can get the job done, but yeah, <laughs> not quite as... Not as broken, but yeah. it's all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, but Leon, though, ready to get another stop right here. Great option pick right there. Back here? Yeah, oh, looking so for close. that, but not quite. Um, hitting with a low enough hitbox. If he had bashed all that earlier, uh, that might have had enough speed to get that. But now Leon, looking for those neutral layers, going to be shielding nine times out of ten, but going to get hit by a B-reverse inhale uh, at any point here. Oh, great ah. Gordo spacing right there. Big bodies only, yeah. That's unfortunate that uh, Bowser's frame is just that big to get hit by the toes right there. Yeah, a lot of DDD's aerial offense is, you know, crafted from Nair. You you have a lot of your, like, combos or your kill confirms off of, like, uh, Sour Nair or Hard Nair. You are the second fastest faller in the game as well, so you have a lot of uh, different timing mix-ups. You can just get there really, really quick. Mm -hmm. Smart stuff from D3U. Will going for up air, up, or up throw, up air right there. So all that rage would throw off any down throw confirms. But Leon, yep. A lot of DDs do float there because they want to see what you're going to do or yeah. throw out a Gordo to uh, kind of cover that space. So if you have a move that sends you to the side and also has like a high verticality, like maybe Joker back air or Bowser forward air, you can just sneak underneath most of DDs' options in those situations. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sometimes you just got to, it, it, it can be hard. Ooh, the Ooh. double hit as well. Yeah, you don't want to let them set up around that area, too, because if you wait by ledge, you give them time to set up, like, an inhale SD or just, like, inhale in general, right? Or, or just, like, a fall-through forward air kind of deal. Just, like, any way to pressure you away from the ledge. Oh, but now Flame Breath, you're going to eat a good bit of that. Leon's not having any of that Gordo, so get that out of here. Oh, and D3 will, I think, playing really smart, but playing one step ahead of himself in some of these situations. But either way, keeping it very close, Ooh. and there we go, step by step. D3 Will is itching ahead in these situations, especially when it comes to getting these kills. Was that a reverse? I think that was a reverse up smash yeah. run up. So that's, that was a really sick way to, you know, anti-air, but you didn't want it to start in front of you. You want to hit the tail end. Here's the grab, down throw, okay, forward throw. Not going to be enough. Leon wants to save that, make sure it's not too stale, because forward throw is going to be a KO option soon. Got a two frame with the forward smash right there. I, that had to have been a miss it put forward tilt. Because you want to angle down forward tilt, yeah. yeah. That should be it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. DD almost kind of lived, like, you, you saw if you looked on the uh, top left, like, if, if D3 Will had a little bit more room to work with towards the corner, possibly could have lived that. But here comes Leon. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Shield has to keep those strings airtight again. And, I mean, D3 Will's letting Leon get away with Shield a lot of these times. Maybe looking for a more clutch inhale, but inhale, I mean, could be the thing to kind of break the cycle that you were talking about before, Charles. Forward tilt again. Yep, rinse and repeat. I think Leon's not going to take too many other risks here. Oh, it's fully charged. Ah, break shield. Oh, oh my, my god. And it has armor on the swing, too. If if Will had let that rip, that would have been game three. Oh Still man. could be. And Leon, Bowser is so large. It is very difficult for Bowser to get out of this situation. Like, obviously, Leon's doing an incredible job, but Bowser's body is just so gigantic, and ledge jump is just not going to do it. And D3 Will is just taking full advantage of this and playing out these ledge trap situations. <laughs> You're not so going to well. get up through that. You can't. If that move is active for so long. You might live. Oh man. But yeah, you cannot get neutral get up in there if you know that the D is going to uh, four tilt. Like smart by Leon to take the hit there because that hit will never kill you, but right. it will also never help you either. <laughs> right, right. And at that point, you can only take so much damage. The Gordo eventually is going to get the KO, right? Um, I will say sometimes you just got to go for the roll. And, yeah. like, it is scary to go for the roll in that situation. Obviously, it's hindsight. We didn't see Leon do a single roll. But sometimes you can just stay on the ledge too, right? Mm -hmm. I don't, like, th in in that last stretch, we didn't see Leon roll, and we didn't see Leon um, just stay on the ledge. Yeah. And sometimes I even get up attack too. I actually don't know if he knew that because um, what that Gordo that uh, D3 Will was doing, I don't know if it hits like just below ledge there because it stops just before it would bounce a third time. Right. So I don't know if it would hit Bowser, but I don't think it – I think Leon could have just chilled there. As long as right. Right. Oh, but that's a lot of damage. The Gordo coming through with the assists. And going for the bomber, yeah, gives up a lot of stage control. And – Oh my god, the whiff punish on the get up attack. D3 Will firing on all pistons with the jet hammer. Yeah, and actually going for the jump and just reacting to the get up attack there. Really good fake up, but the runoff there. 
Yeah, Leon needs to wipe these stocks as soon as possible because when you when when D3 will gets these ledge traps set up, it, it's so like Leon has so little options to get off the ledge versus this character with the Gordo setup. Yeah, it has to be from like the um, ledge, edge guarding and ledge trapping for Leon if he wants this to happen. You can't afford to block that Gordo. That's a free grab every time. And the yep, up flashback from the previous game. You know, another thing, too, that Leon might be feel like he has to get up, like, maybe the Gordo might actually hit his hands, because if you look at Bowser's hands, like, Bowser's ledge hang is really bad. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe on most characters, they might be able to chill there, but Bowser might not have that. And oh my god, D3 will with another read on the jump. Leon on his final stock. Oh my god, and doing it right back to him. Okay, if this, you swing, I swing. This set is buck wild. When, when you think D3 Will has such a huge advantage, there's no way D3's dying at like 80 or 90%. Leon's like, actually, let me get this uh, hard read right on right on time here. And just, just, man, getting these kills extremely early. Yeah, but now Leon in advantage is a monster. You can't afford to get him, um, let him play the game again because if you do, I don't know if D3 Will has lob jumps. Yeah, had to uh, just I'll be right back. The ledge trapping is there too, just going high. Be reverse inhale. No, just playing it safe, and that's it. He's dead. He doesn't yeah, have the jumps. Oh, oh my goodness! Leon dropped it. I, I thought he had it in the bed. Oh my gosh, this is scary because DD's a rage monster. This is functionally an even game. Leon wants to end this quick, running right up with a forward air. D3 will has to recover low again. Oh. This could be bad. Oh my God. Just nips the. Oh my goodness! Full hops over. Are you going to catch? Wow, Leon just fast falling right through that platform there, and that should be... He's wow, alive. it's still alive! Don't go high, don't go high, don't go high. Oh, okay. man, this is so close. The Nair connects. Last stock, last hit situation here. Oh, my goodness. Is D3 Will going to knock Leon into the losers? There's the roll. Leon tries to roll this time, but the four tail still covers it. That was actually really smart from Leon. Okay, okay. He can afford to take oh, a couple no. more of those, but the Gordo is coming soon. He had to hit it away, and the up tilt... He's still alive! How is he still alive? Excellent oh, my goodness! He didn't take pull the trigger on that punish! Oh, what's it, what's it? oh no. my goodness. This is this is super last dog last hit. The Gordo finally gonna do the trick. D3 Will takes it over Leon. Oh, how many times did we think that set was over? <laughs> like four or five times. My heart is racing, bro. My heart is racing. 120 beats per minute. Someone call someone. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Bro, what Ooh. does Leon do on the let? It, it's His crazy. Like, I feel like there's a certain point for Bowser where maybe Bowser actually cannot get off the ledge, but it's like it's all about if if they set the Gordo up too too far to the back, then you do like a ledge drop forward jump, ledge drop double jump forward, like do something to hit the Gordo back, but not a get up attack because he's standing out of range of get up attack. Right. Yeah, like it's it, 